vous étiez ma oven tout puis en joie dans 50 degrés. Then I will mix all my ingredients together in a bowl. First is my blueberry cake mix. I'm adding two boxes because I am doing double the recipe. I'm trying to get all the um, mix out of the box. That's one box. And Jeff is my second box. Each box of blueberry cake mix is seven ounces each. Looking for my mixer to break up all the chunks in it. Now that the chunk is broken up, I'm going to add two eggs that's one egg down and one more to go A cup of milk. Remember that I am doing double the recipe, so I'm gonna add half a cup of milk, and you can also use water, but I like to add a little extra in mine. Get more fluffy. And now I am going to add, add my vegetable oil. I do not have vegetable oil, so I'm going to be using my extra virgin olive oil you could use any oil of your choice but I only have olive oil available at the moment going to add four tablespoons of olive oil I was trying to show you my tablespoon that's two tablespoons so I am going to be adding 
two of that to my mix. I want a little bit extra for both of them, but that's okay. It will just be more moist when the cake is done. Next, I am going to mix all the ingredients together, but you want to avoid over mixing the, in, um, the butter. So now I am trying to make sure everything is all incorporated in the mix. So I am mixing and mixing. that the mix is all incorporated together I will be adding them into my cake um, pan I like to add a cake lining to my pan because it gives me, well, it is easier to clean when the butter is done baking. So I use my cake lining to line in my pan. And you could use any pan of your choice. I like to use my loaf pan because I like the shape of it when the mix is ready. So I'm just pouring the mix into the loaf pan. Now that it's all poured into the loaf pan, I am going to attempt to make sure that they all level and spread evenly in the pan. So when I when I am done making sure that it is level I will make a few tap just to make sure that it is leveled oh I'm not I'm not supposed to be 
the candy butter, but I could not resist myself. So I'm tapping it to make sure that it is all even. Now that my oven is ready, I'll be baking this on my my top rack for 21 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees. The loaf is ready now. It's been 25 minutes. So I will attempt to carefully take it out of the oven. Voila! Already ready now. I will allow this to cool completely before cutting them into slices. And I'm just lifting the edges to make sure that it will be an easy way to get out of the pan so there's gonna be less cleaning 